Let's talk about GPT 4.1. This is OpenAI's newest and honestly smartest model so far. And no, it's not just another boring upgrade that nobody cares about. It's the kind of update you'll actually use. Got a giant PDF or a whole book, just upload it. 4.1 will find the exact quote or info you need so you don't have to scroll forever. Stuck with a weird error on your screen? Take a screenshot, throw it in, and it'll explain what's going on like a techie friend who doesn't judge. Want your answer to sound serious or funny or even in meme slang? Just ask. It can adapt to your vibe. And that's not all. I'll walk you through all the new features of GPT 4.1 and you'll see how it makes life easier, whether you code for a living or just want homework help. This is where things get fun. New model is a total beast when it comes to big files. I mean, you can drop in an entire book, a massive PDF, or a giant text dump, and it won't even blink. To give you an idea, it can handle up to a million tokens of text at once. That's basically hundreds of pages, maybe a whole novel. So say you're a student and you've got a fat research paper to get through. Just upload it and ask GPT 4.1 to summarize each chapter, pull out the main points, or even whip up quiz questions for you. If you're a developer with endless documentation or messy logs, it'll pick out the parts you actually care about. Errors, key warnings. OpenAI even tested this. You can ask it to find that one specific quote in a 3000 page book and it'll find it. Like, where is the quote, things we lose have a way of coming back to us in the end, if not always in the way we expect. It will scan through and give you the answer along with the context. This is possible because new model not only accepts large inputs, but also has improved long context comprehension, meaning it's good at staying focused and accurate even with all that information. This feature alone can save hours of skimming and searching. 4.1 is basically your speed reader and research assistant in one. For anyone working with large reports, legal documents, or even entire code bases, its ability to see the big picture and the tiny details all at once is a game changer. Here's another big one. GPT 4.1 is just smarter. Remember when you'd ask a complicated question and get some weird half right answer? Now that happens way less. This model was trained to follow your instructions more closely and accurately than its predecessors. That means if you ask a multi-part or very specific question, it will actually tackle each part and give you a coherent, reliable answer. OpenAI has incorporated developer feedback and advanced training techniques to make 4.1 better at reasoning through complex problems and providing anticipatory answers. It often knows what you're going to ask next. In everyday terms, it is much less likely to shrug its shoulders at a tough riddle or a niche knowledge question. Instead, it's more likely to say, here's what I found, and by the way, you might also need this. For example, imagine you ask, how can we improve the fuel efficiency of a hybrid car in cold climates? A difficult technical question, right? GPT 4.1 doesn't just dump random tips on you. It'll break the answer into logical steps, warm up, tire pressure, battery tricks, driving habits, even HVAC settings. Model 4.0's answer uses themed sections, but the advice is more scattered and requires the reader to mentally prioritize what matters most. It might even show you a quick impact table so you know what's actually worth your time. This helps users focus on what really works instead of generic tips. 4.0's answer lists many tips, some advanced, but doesn't indicate which have the highest impact for the average hybrid driver. 4.1 ties driving habits, maintenance, and environment, garage parking, preheating, together to show how they interact. 4.0 treats each factor somewhat independently. Another cool thing, it gives real sources. So you can double check anything with, say, the Department of Energy or Consumer Reports. While Model 4.0 does not cite sources, making it harder to cross-verify. Basically, it feels less like a robot spitting out info and more like talking to a helpful tutor or consultant. Even if your question is niche, it'll do its best to actually help, not just guess. Speaking of getting smarter answers and leveling up your AI skills, if you're new to AI or feel overwhelmed by how fast it's evolving, there is a place designed just for you. Geek Geekatomy's generative AI course is perfect whether you're a student, marketer, or entrepreneur who wants to use AI tools effectively but doesn't know where to begin. You'll find clear, step-by-step -step video lessons guiding you through all the essentials of generative AI, making even complex concepts easy to understand. 
and we're constantly updating our library, regularly adding new lessons and resources so your skills stay sharp and relevant. With Geekademy, you'll spend less time trying to keep up and more time actually benefiting from what AI has to offer. Check out the link in the description and start making AI work for you today. And right now, we're offering a massive 50% discount on a six-month access to Geekademy, which includes this course and any future ones we release during that period. This model actually keeps up with long conversations without forgetting what you're talking about, and it's way better at picking up on what you really mean. People have noticed it's much better at reading between the lines. So if you're hinting at something or being a little indirect, it actually gets it. Like if you drop a sarcastic line, I absolutely love when my code breaks right before a deadline. GPT 4.1 won't launch into a boring lecture about debugging. Instead, you'll probably get a witty reply or maybe a playful apology showing it caught your tone and frustration. It's a small thing, but it honestly makes chats feel so much more natural. For example, try writing something like, yeah, great, because I totally needed a 10th error in your answer. It picks up on that sarcasm and might reply with, message received loud and clear. I see we're going for the let's make AI sweat speed run today. If you want, I can double down and make it a nice round dozen errors just to really drive the point home. It matches your style, engages with the humor, and plays along making the interaction more human and fun. Old GPT-40, by the way, would probably say something dry like, thank you for your feedback. I apologize for any errors in my answer. Would you like me to correct them? It misses the sarcasm completely assuming you're seriously upset and immediately tries to fix the problem, sometimes making the conversation feel stilted or robotic. Honestly, using 4.1 feels less like talking to a bot and more like chatting with someone who's actually paying attention. It even remembers your name, your preferences, and little details you share and it uses those to make its answers fit you better. Joke around, it jokes back, keep things formal, it matches that too. It just fits your style. One of the coolest upgrades in GBT 4.1 is how it handles images. This AI is no longer just a text genius. It's got some serious vision powers. You can give it a screenshot, a photo, even a graph or chart, and it can understand and talk about that image. OpenAI notes that the 4.1 family is exceptionally strong at image understanding, often better than previous models on tasks that involve charts, diagrams, or other visuals. In plain language, it can analyze what's in a picture and describe or answer questions about it, which opens up a ton of handy uses. Think about it. You can snap a photo of a piece of equipment that you're trying to fix and ask it, what is this part and what does it do? It might recognize the object and give you an explanation or even troubleshooting tips. Or maybe you have a graph from a science report. Just feed it to 4.1 and ask, what does this graph tell us and you'll get an answer in plain English like, this chart shows a steady increase in solar power output over five years with a dip in year three. How about screenshots? Yes, GPT 4.1 can help with those too. If you have an error message on your screen, take a screenshot and ask GPT 4.1 what it means. It can read the text in the image and explain the error, possibly even suggesting a fix. It's like having a tech support buddy who actually sees your problem. Another fun one, Show it a meme or a funny picture and it can explain the joke, something AI used to struggle with, but 4.1's improved vision plus context understanding makes it much better at. Of course, not every image in the world will be perfectly understood. It's not magic, but in our testing, it is remarkably good at extracting meaning from visuals and combining it with its knowledge. This advanced image understanding means you can treat 4.1 as an all-purpose assistant. Text, images, whatever you throw at it, it can handle. This is a huge step towards an AI that perceives the world more like we do with multimodal text and image intelligence. Now, the way it talks is just so much more natural and lively. GPT 4.1 isn't just about understanding the little details in your question, it can actually create those little details too. It jokes, uses slang where it fits, and smoothly switches up its tone, something older versions just didn't do that well. Honestly, sometimes it doesn't even feel like you're chatting with an AI, it's more like talking to that one friend who always gets the vibe right. 
Whether you want a super formal email to your boss or the same info turned into a funny meme-filled message for your group chat. Need some Gen Z slang? It can actually pull it off without sounding awkward. OpenAI really focused on making 4.1 better at reading the mood and picking up on what you're really after, so it just gets what you want from the conversation. It's got that emotional intelligence now, which makes it a lot more fun and honestly useful to talk to. You could ask it, explain quantum physics to me in a sarcastic tone. It might respond with a playful tongue-in-cheek explanation like particles. They're basically just drama queens. Sometimes they act like waves, sometimes like particles, sometimes both at once because, you know, consistency is so last century. It's informative and it caught the sarcastic vibe you asked for. Or try translate this paragraph into internet slang. It could pepper the text with OMG, or emoji in a way that actually fits rather than feeling forced. This kind of fluent style shifting makes 4.1 a joy to use for creative writing, role playing, or just getting answers in a tone that suits you. It can even combine tones, give me a motivational quote about coding, but in pirate speak, you'll get something inspiring and funny. The key is that it has learned from a wide array of language patterns, so it's less likely to be confused by informal speech or requests for a certain style. And here's something new, you don't even have to read. Now you can listen to the answers. Stay slaying, don't break the Wi-Fi, and remember, no drama, just llama. You can pick from different voices like Juniper, Ember, Cove, whatever suits your mood. How to use it? Just tap the voice icon at the bottom of ChatGPT on your phone or desktop. Pick a voice, ask your question, and the answer gets read to you. Want to hear it sound calm or maybe super excited? You can tell it and it'll match the mood. There are some limits. On iOS, it uses the built-in voiceover, so it sounds a little different, but still clear. I don't actually listen to podcasts myself, but I know a lot about popular ones. But for most people, it's just convenient. You can get answers while you walk, cook, or whenever you don't feel like reading. So how do you start? Open ChatGPT, switch to GPT 4.1. If you see it in your model list and just try it out, upload a big file, throw in a screenshot or ask something tricky. Set up your custom instructions, tell it who you are, and how you want answers. Try images, test voices, mess with the tone, see what works best for you. Seriously, just try throwing your wildest questions or files at it. You'll see, GPT 4.1 isn't just smarter, it's actually useful, quick, and feels way more like talking to a real person. 